My name is Tony! Sorry. Not loud enough. Can you hear me now? Good evening, my name is Tony! Hi Tony! Thank you, thank you very much everyone for coming along this evening. As I look out at all your faces, I must say that... Sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional now. As I look out at all your faces, I must say that some of my favourite people in all the world were unable to make it here tonight. <laughs> so I suppose you lot will just have to do. But no, joking apart, I've been so lucky to have worked as a GP in Brundle for 27 and a half years with some very, very special people, most of whom are here tonight. And I'd like you all to do me a big, big favour and to give each other a massive round of applause now, please. Big round of applause. Now, before we start, as you all know, it's the tradition on occasions like this for someone to stand up and make a speech about the person who's leaving. Okay. And uh, some of you know how, already know how I feel about this. So um, we're going to break with tradition tonight. We're not going to have anybody being forced to stand up and say nice things about me just because they have to. Okay. So we're not going to do that at all. What? Sorry. What? Actually, Tony, I would like to have a few words, if that's okay. Actually, I would prefer it if you didn't. It'll only take a minute. So, despite the fact that I've just said that I don't want anyone to make a speech tonight, you insist on saying a few words. If that's okay. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> I sat down the other day and I tried to make a list of all Tony's good qualities. But I couldn't think of any. So I thought, well, I'll try to make a list of all the things we'll miss about Tony. I struggled with that too. <laughs> but, I suppose, we'll miss hearing him talk about football. <laughs> we'll miss having an overgrown toddler at the surgery. <laughs> we'll miss his amazing fashion sense. <laughs> Apparently red socks are so cool. <laughs> we'll miss having a human dustbin available at meals. And we'll miss having to laugh at his good jokes. What? <laughs> now come on Hayden, I think that's enough, don't you? But most of all, We'll miss the way the light reflects off his bald head. <laughs> How dare you! Don't you push me. I'll push you if I want to, Woody! Well, I never liked you anyway. I'm glad you're leaving. Right, that's it. You're fired! But that's not fair! <laughs>
Thank you very much for the lovely Kim. And thank you Hayden for those uh, kind words. Now, um, I'm delighted to say that the, the fabulous offenders have allowed me to sing a few songs tonight. And um, before I start, I would like you to give a big round of applause for the offenders! <laughs> now, as you know, I've been a GP in Brundle for several years, and one thing I have noticed during that time is that a lot of my patients seem to be rather depressed, really. <laughs> Dead. Um, seeing me didn't seem to help all that much. I don't know why. Anyway, the very last patient in my very last surgery was so depressed that he sang me this song. remember to apologise to all you girls out there, because I realise that you're all in mourning having lost such a gorgeous hunk from the surgery. Yes! <laughs> Actually, 
you may not all realise, but my mother is Greek. And on my birth certificate, it says that my name is Anthony, but my real name, and this is true, my real name is Adonis. <laughs> no, it's true, really. They even wrote a song about me.
Oh, I just remembered. Uh -huh. There is one more person that I have to thank tonight. Because I would not have lasted 27 and a half years as a GP in Brundle without the help of my wonderful wife, Liz. Who's here. So can we have a big round of applause for Liz, please? My dear. Marriage has not exactly been a bed of roses. I mean, she's got nothing to complain about. I take her everywhere, but she keeps finding her way back. Better dial one one one, my eye. That's funny. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Marriage has not exactly been a bed of roses. In fact, we had one of our major arguments last night. And I got thrown out, as usual. <sighs> Went walking through Blowfield looking for a pub. <laughs> Couldn't find one. So I ended up at Heathlands here. Ended up at the bar and this is what happened. Yeah. 
things to happen to me. Nobody knows what the future will hold, which is kind of exciting and kind of frightening at the same time. And those feelings remind me of a song written by Jonathan Richman in the 1970s, and it's called Fly Into the Mystery.
Now, from a very young age, I realised that I had a love of music, especially music with a rhythm. And Ian Jury wrote a song about this. It's called Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick. So you can't have more than three each, okay? <laughs> and they're through there where the buffet was. And after cake, the fabulous offenders are going to play for us for the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> 